Okay, who has a nice pair of born shoes that are really awesome footwear? Love wearing these, but down through the years, I've just let them go to heck in a handbasket. They look pretty rough here. So, a lot of tread still on the back. Look at there. I just want to try to clean them up, so... Let's just get a brush. Jason Mark. Just a little brush. And let's try Jason Mark Premium Deep Cleaning Solution. See what it says here. Anyway, we're going to follow the directions. And we're going to try to clean these up. Don't throw them away. Clean them up. So here's going to be my process. It may be hard to tell here. I've got a little bit of water in this um, little paper plate here. So getting the brush wet, then I'm going to put some solution on there and see how this does. So I've only got uh, two hands. If I had three hands, I would film this while I'm doing it. But you'll get the idea. This is how I'm doing it. So here's an interim step. You see I foamed them up, brushing them up pretty good. They look pretty rough right now. They look pretty rough right now. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, why don't we just go all in here. We got the Bourne. We got some Johnson and Murphys that have been cutting the grass in because I just like slip-ons. And uh, is this another pair of Bournes? No, Rockports. Some rough rock ports. Actually, I took these to Alaska to be my knocking around shoes in, um, no, not Alaska. I took these to um, Colorado uh, to the ski resort. And at the ski resort, they were giving away these 3M uh, inserts that block the cold. So if you're standing on, um, where were we? Vail, Colorado. Yeah, Vail, Colorado. And we were going, um, uh, you know, on the uh, snowmobiles and all that. And so these things really made a big difference. Now, they were giving them away <laughs> at the uh, at the half pipe, um, you know, snowboarding championships. It was actually the world championships. And we see it saw the uh, carrot carrot top guy there and all that but yeah so so let's see how these turn out as well they look pretty rough but almost to the point of tossing them but thought we'd try it out well they still don't look too hot after that cleaning session but they are clean they are clean so I remembered I had some kiwi saddle soap and uh cleans and softens so let's see what we have here uh, I'm gonna brush them up throw some saddle soap on there uh, and um, just like it says it's what people with horses use on their saddles and boots and gloves so let's see what that does back in a moment okay here we go folks looks like the rock ports did the best so far. This actually doesn't look all that bad for them to been so, you know, scarred up and ugly looking er earlier. These don't look too bad, the rock ports. Uh, the outside's mainly what we're looking for. You know, the inside, I put that new insole in there. Um, the moral of the story is, you know, keep them clean. Don't let them get so run down like I did. I just started using them as yard shoes. Now these things, you know, the Johnson Murphys. Uh, didn't do too good there, but Johnson Murphys. You're definitely not going to be wearing them to Sunday school or to work, I wouldn't think. Got some wear and tear on them. 
you know the heel still looks pretty good I haven't cleaned the bottom yet but let's see what we got here with the other Johnson Murphy I think I'm gonna go ahead now that I'm in the mood and throw some brown polish on them I really like these borns because they slid on so easily but they didn't have a ton of cushioning um, and I've worn them out here painting got to figure out a way to get the paint off so these I got them clean but they don't look too hot compared to what they used to look like all right gone this far might as well throw some brown shoe polish on okay, here's the next step kiwi brown and by the way if you play golf in a lot of these tournaments they give you these rinky dink golf towels don't throw them away save them to to um, uh, shine your shoes with hey look what I found when I went to uh, when I went to get my shoe polish, I found my old Rockport insoles. I'm going to swap those out. I don't need those 3M ones that are basically insulated to high heaven to keep your feet warm. So here we go. Let's try the brown polish now. Thanks for hanging with me through this long, drawn-out process. Um, some of you might say, Rod, just go get you a new pair of shoes. Toss these. Hate to toss things. But looks They still have some wear left on them. Okay, I guess this is the finished product. Uh, before I show you those, I will let you know that I did find my Rockport uh, very nice cushioning here in soles. And uh, so this is the Fensilate Insulation 3M. Uh, this is very good. Um, yeah, I, I could tell the difference standing out on the ice and snow in Colorado. Uh, you know with the snowboarders and all that so that's something you might want to consider if you are uh, going to be standing outside for hours on end okay so back to this project uh, yes the rock ports by far came out looking the best you know still got a lot of tread on the back on the outside you know they look great and these these have been through heck and back um, you know, I would wear these almost hiking and whatever because they're so rugged and uh, they've held up well down through the years. And of course, I've been cutting the grass in them and different things, but you know, a pair of jeans knocking around town, uh, those are still comfortable, so I'm not tossing those. Okay, the Borns, I was really excited about how these things might turn out, but. You know, other than that little angle right there, they don't look too hot <laughs> for me anyway. Uh, they're okay, but um, yeah, I've, I might have mentioned that I've thrown these on a time or two to, to paint outside, and you can kind of tell it. Still got a lot of good tread and stuff underneath. Um, a decent shoe, not as much cushioning as the Rockport. But one of the things I liked about these was, you know, they slide on and off real easy. And um, this uh, upper right here in the back didn't seem, seem to wear out very quickly like these Johnson Murphys now. Sorry about jumping around here. Well, these Johnson Murphys, this is a decent shoe. I used to wear these, uh, you know, to work uh, kind of as a casual dress shoe, maybe with... Um, and they actually don't look too bad. Um, and, uh, and I've been cutting the grass and stuff with these. Who knows? I may, I may try to wear these a little more often now. Maybe even, who knows? Might even wear them to work one day. Um, I do have some Allen Edmonds that are the mirror image of these. I tried to take a step up from Johnson Murphy, but uh, my Allen Edmonds could use a little care thought about throwing in a shiny penny there to make them shine that would look a little funny though wouldn't it that's back into the roaring 50s i guess 
you put penny loafers. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, you saw the cleaning solution I used. I brushed it. And um, a little elbow grease there. Um, but these are my knocking around shoes. Um, I'm not wearing them to work, like I said, or anything like that. But I may get, uh, you know, if you're going to a high school football game or something like that, you don't want to, you're not looking to dress up with your, your fancy shoes. Maybe those would be a winner for that. Uh, who knows? Maybe even these, depending on if you're wearing khakis or something. So thanks for watching Rod's Random Reviews. Let me know what you think about uh, these cleaning solutions, Kiwi, if you have a better solution for me. I've got several other shoes that need some TLC, but for whatever reason, I decided to pull these out of the garage today and clean them up. Today is Labor Day 2022, and um, yeah, comments definitely welcome below. Thanks for watching Rod's Random Reviews, and uh, today we reviewed some shoe cleaning solution. We've reviewed saddle soap, and we sort of reviewed uh, these shoes and insulation inside. Take care all, stay safe.